The gang is here on a podcast Friday. Mkonza is here. Um, Nadim Lukel is here as well as Pro Pilana. For the last time he's here, we'll be getting into all matters um, of football. Somebody says that Nokovic is the best signing that Kaiser Chief has had in the last 10 years. They'll back it up when they do come through. But like I said, Head of Sport at the SABC Sport is with us. Keleto Tokanyo. Keleto, always a pleasure to have you. Welcome. Good evening, Andile, and good, good evening to the Metro listeners, and thanks for having me. It's been a, a tough week, hasn't it? It's been a tough three weeks, not just one week. You say three weeks, and it's important you say that. Sorry to get in there, because there's, there's, there's a, a thinking, there's a saying, there's a conversation about how you know the SABC waited till uh, last night to decide we want the right, let's start negotiating. Um, we actually started negotiating in, I made contact to, with uh, Supersport on the 19th of December. Last um, year already? Yes. Okay. Remember I started working for SABC Sport on the 1st of December. Mm. And on the 19th I made contact to check, um, to make them aware of the rights that we, we were looking for. It started with the under-19 in, uh, inaugural ICC, t- uh, under-19 um, ICC tournament. Then the T20 Women's World Cup, mm. um, the marathons, you know, that uh, they yeah, have the ASA thing, contract. Yeah. So I had a list of events that, that I engaged them uh, about, and that included the Rugby World Cup as well as the ICC Cricket World Cup. The statement came out, Kelly, from the SABC. Do you perhaps want to elaborate on it a little bit more? What does this mean? The fact that the deal has been clinched and that SABC will be showing the games. What exactly are we showing? What is the agreement? What will people, the millions who prefer and want to watch it on the SABC? Because I, I hate the narrative that there are those that can't afford, therefore no. There are people that choose and want to watch it on the SABC. Yeah, um, so the SABC managed to secure rights for 16 matches. Uh, we're starting with the opening ceremony tonight and the, uh, um, the opening match. Then we will have the, all the South African uh, group stages, matches. Okay. And then we'll have two matches from Group A, two matches group, from Group C, two matches from Group D. Remember, South Africa is in Group B, mm. hence I'm not mentioning Group B. So we'll have those. Then the two quarterfinals, one semifinal, the final and the closing ceremony. So if, if uh, the Springboks are able to progress, you'll be able to track them nonetheless because it's covered in those rights. Yeah, definitely. And the games Hence that you... Hence, we were having those uh, challenges uh, at the beginning of the week because when we engaged, we there was a mention of seven matches. Only to find that seven matches were con- conditional. It will, They meant should the Springboks go to the, go to the quarterfinals, semifinals and final, we were going to get the other three. So... In my life, I've never seen a contract where you sign and it says if. Mm. It's either you're getting four or you're getting seven. Yeah. It can't be you're getting four, however, but, if. Yeah. It, there's no contract like that. So that's the reason why we, we couldn't find each other. But then there was that option of having the 16 matches and the SABC opted to go with the 16 matches because it included everything. Where are we watching these matches? We will watch the matches on SABC 2. Uh, SABC OTT platform, with it, which is SABC Plus. Mm. Unfortunately, we can't have it on the SABC Sport channel because um, we broadcast on OVHD and we can't, uh, and it's a th- seen as a third party. So okay. we can't broadcast on the uh, third party platform. So it will only be within the SABC platforms, but the radio as well. Um, we have secured uh, rugby rights for the radio and it's for all 48 matches. So all our radio stations will carry the Rugby World Cup. Is this matches? All the matches. Okay. Including the opening ceremony and the closing ceremony. SAB, where did they get involved? We're very grateful that the two South African uh, companies uh, in Hollywood Bets and um, SAB, they they assisted the SABC to be able to secure these rights. As everybody is, it's it's not a secret that SABC is financial. We have our own financial challenges. So we couldn't, um, we didn't have finances to secure these rights. And SAB decided, you know what, we can't let our South African, other South African company to suffer. And which meant South African public was going to suffer because we didn't have the money to secure these rights. So they assisted us together with Hollywood Bets. Um, and yeah, we're grateful for that. Well, we do have uh, Vaughn uh, Cruiser from SAB who joins us now on the line. Vaughn Cruiser, South African Brewery's Vice President of Marketing Manager. Vaughn, thanks so much for joining us and welcome. Oh, thank you very much and uh, good evening to your listeners. Listen, I mean, from, from, from on behalf of many South Africans, no, no, no. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you indeed and SAB. But what informed the partnership with the SABC? Why did SAB come on board? Look, uh, to, to be frank, it 
was a very easy decision for us. It's something that, that's very close to our hearts. Uh, we've been supporting uh, our national sporting teams in South Africa for many decades. Yeah. Um, and we see what the power of sport is in, in how it brings people together and how it inspires us. It, it gives us hope. And I think this, uh, this Springbok team um, is a great example of, of what happens when South Africans come together. So for us, it was uh, really important that, that as many people as possible in South Africa can share in this moment. Indeed, and I, I 100% agree with you. I mean, I remember my introduction to rugby back in 95, you know, as a rural boy growing up in the townships as well. Uh, it was because the SABC was able to broadcast it, so I was able to see something different to what I was used to. You know, it's a nostalgic moment that myself and my whole family are bonded by till today, and it's great that that's going to be carrying on in that fashion. But what are you hoping to achieve out of this from the SABC? What is what what is it that SAB sat down and said this partnership is is going to benefit us as the SAB? You are a private company at the end of the day. What is that that you're looking to get out of the partnership? Uh, obviously, we, um, we're a very proudly South African company. Uh, just like the SABC, we also have the name South Africa in our, in our, in our name. Um, so, yes, we're very proud that we can, that we can be part of this. Um, in terms of commercially, yes, it's, a, it's, it's wonderful for us that we can have a, such a large audience enjoying this, this spectacle that's going to happen in France. And our products have been synonymous with sociability and getting together and enjoying sport together. So for us, it's a very natural fit. Listen, Vaughan, thank you so much, man, uh, for SAB and uh, uh, the great work that you've done, the very South African thing that you guys have done. We look forward to now the 16 matches that the SABC has, um, uh, and they're going to be able to broadcast to the whole of South Africa, the entire South Africa. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I mean, Gillette was sitting across from me now with the biggest smile just at the mention of SAB. And I guess uh, all you guys are missing is the C to be part of the family, isn't it? <laughs> Yes, so we, we are very proud, uh, very proudly South African, and we, we love the fact that we can contribute to our economy, but also just to the joy of uh, everyday South Africans. So thank you very much for having us on your show. Uh, Vaughan, how, how much did you throw in there? Because Gillette is not going to tell me, but I know you. Are you going to tell me how much you're gonna throw, you threw in there? Uh, no, I don't, I don't <laughs> think I can disclose that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought but, I'd catch uh, you off guard there, but... Uh, but, but I'll tell you that we are, we are just... We are just thrilled to be to be part of this and to bring the broadcast uh, to the country i'll tell you what you're going to be reaching more people in the next uh, couple of days in the next month or so uh, through the sabc than any other platform can give you so that money is going to come back tenfold thank you so much thanks Alile. appreciate it that's vaughan cruiser there who is um the vice president of marketing um out at the south african breweries Kelly. Um, I, all I can tell you that it's a seven-digit number. Seven? Yes. And I won't tell you how much is that. So it's not trickle and yana, timi and I, timi, rukhoate boy. And that's in US dollars. Are you yes, serious? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. timi, rumnat. Guys, sports, ri- sports rights are very expensive. Actually, you know, um, jokes aside, you need to sports understand rights that. are highly expensive. And yeah, you can be hard on the SABC because... The expectation is that you've depended on us for so long and you want to depend on us. And we completely understand that. But... Sports rights over the last 10 years in particular have just escalated. And ask yourself this. When last did you pay your TV license? Go to your friend's house, wherever you're watching the rugby together. Do a little bit of research there. Ask everyone in that room when last they paid their TV license. And then tell me if you have the right to complain. Tell me if you have the right to complain. There are those that absolutely might. But as a collective, as South Africans who own TVs, all of us should be paying TV licenses. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, are we? Are we? Let's start with us. Thank you so much, um, Tegele. And of course, we're going to be watching it. Thanks for having me. And yes, we will be watching you as well. Uh, I think it's one big secret that you wanted to keep. (laughs) You're not telling people. I laughed today. I don't know if you saw that tweet that's saying, we know SABC will bring Dr. Kumar (laughs) to the And I thought, you know, the one thing that they should know is that and they always associate him with football, but he is going to be part of the rugby team that will be presenting this uh, rugby to the people on SABC2. And thank you for allowing ourselves to show people that you actually are a sports person, not necessarily 
football person. I mean, those that listen to the show will know. We cover it all, but uh, we appreciate it. And thank you for the opportunity. So this evening, um, I'm alongside some uh, Springbok greats. I'll share with you before we leave here. You can catch us as we bring you the match. Hopper 7, it's the build-up. It includes the opening ceremony and, of course, the big match. The France, the host, and New Zealand in the first match. It'll take you back. It'll take you back uh, to 2019 mm-hmm. when these two met. And what an amazing match that was. That's what we're expecting. Kelly? Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thanks for Thank having me. Thank you so much. She's out of here. Right. The guys, they're in the building. It's uh, 6.23. Hey, Malcolm. You're switching on mics here when we're speaking private business here. They're here. Yeah. Mkonza's here. Nadim is here. Pro Pilan is here. Let's start on the far end. Guys, starting a little bit later than usual, but uh, nonetheless, here we are. Uh, are you, have you got your mics going? Yeah, they're still disorganized. They're putting mics together. Let me go to Durban in the meantime while they do all of that. Pro Pilan, PRO. Good evening, good evening, good evening to the channel studio and good evening to the listeners of this number one sports show in South Africa. Listen, man, I was thinking your, your, your biggest issue is that you decided you're Pro Pilan. You should have called yourself CEO Pilan. You'd have a job as a CEO now. Ah, <laughs> uh, you must, you, you must, you must blame my father. You must blame my father because <laughs> the one who came up with his name. Pro, um, I mean, towards the end of the show, we're gonna and, and as people listen, they're gonna be hearing um, a lot uh, of the promos we're gonna be playing are uh, in and around, you know, having you on the show. It's been, I don't know how many months it's been, but it's been absolutely great. You've elevated what we do here, and uh, we're very happy for you. Very deserving of everything that uh, you've done and given to us. And I know even today is a difficult one because as a, a member of a team now, as somebody who's associated with the team, um, it is going to be very hard for you to do what we do. But we've asked for you just to give our, our listeners a farewell and a goodbye, just so we're all able to say thank you and goodbye to you one last time. Thank you so much for taking our call. Uh, but Andy, um, what, what can I say? Where can I start? Um, first and foremost, I must thank you. Uh, for believing in me, you and Timmy, uh, uh, we used to we used to fight, you know, Timmy Gakulu on Twitter because we both uh, we both used to support the JTR uh, in, in the Motepi Foundation. And uh, whenever JTR doesn't play well or loses a match, uh, <laughs> Timmy and I would fight uh, about the players and about the coach as well. But uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity and uh, and and for loving me, man, and uh, for for pushing me. Uh, a lot of people don't know how hard you work uh, on your craft and how hard. Uh, you work behind the scenes to ensure that your craft becomes perfect, and you don't just take any information, but you you want it to be researched thorough. Uh, you've always pushed me to the limit, and thank you so 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 much. And for, and to the gents as well, Mukonza uh, Unadim. Unadim doesn't know that he's the favorite of the show. Uh, he, doesn't <laughs> he doesn't know how much people love him. And uh, and then sometimes I'll get a stick because of the team. Just the other day I was with Coach Kaisano Tembo, um, and and I looked at him and I thought of the team. I said, "Hey, what if you coach Kaisano Tembo on that team?" But uh, no, no, no. Thank you so much. Thanks to the listeners as well for welcoming me and for welco- welcoming me and be part of the show. Um, they've given me the the, the right support, the technical support that uh, any human being can need. Oh, thank you so much, Pro. Uh, let's go to Mkonza. Mkonza, welcome. Of course, uh, we've got uh, Mkonza United. Uh, I've got a feeling that's coming. I've got a feeling that's coming. Mkonza, welcome. Nyabonga ma aez mnani zbuzo ala sesko nage fanda. Indwe mnani ya pinda. Pilana sesi zuile ke sika pinda sisi weputi andile. Ngoiti mkulu andile manji. O el siso klanganisa no preno no wapu singu ya mazu ya kaina. Para giti congratulations nyabonga na ntwana yam. Sha ispanu pujo se represente gati. Ah, si ispane gati. Some tambos of boy and Donna Yams, yeah, good day. Yeah, in of course, uh, we've, we've, also, we've also got Nadim here. Nadim, uh, I've never heard Pro say such beautiful things about hey, you. Hey, well, <laughs> yeah, you know what? When I think about Pro Plan, I remember the first week of the show we did that is October last year, and he was so prepared. and I didn't ask who, who's this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and the following week, Andy they told me like, yeah, you, look, hey guy, you have to be, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to step up. This guy is good. I said, no, definitely, he's very good. And actually, yeah, it's one of those people in football. P- Propila is young and energetic. You know that he's gonna add a lot at Amazon Football Club, and he's one of those people. He's so transparent. I mean, I'm not on social media, but I know people who look at his tweets. I mean, he's one of those people in the show who added a lot, and I wish him well. At Amazulu Football Club, he need to leave Sundowns now and focus 100% at Amazulu. <laughs> he's an Amazulu when through and through. I mean, of course, he's been pro KZN and teams, and he has yeah. done well, especially, especially, I mean, with supporting all the teams from KZN, as well as Mamelodi Sundowns. But in the show, he's been brilliant, and it's actually sad to see him leaving. 
But he has to live and focus on Amazon. And from Ibu to PRO, he is strong. From Ibu to 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 Samir Nokovic joining TS Galaxy. What are your thoughts on that? Before I tell you some of the things that he said in our conversation, Mkonza, Samir Nokovic finally finding a team. Uh, it's The last time he played was May 2022. And I'm a bit concerned with the fact that, yes, good signing for, for TS, but not a goal poucher. No? It's, it's, a goal, it's, a center, it's a center for what? So you're signing a player that is 31 years of age. He hasn't played for the year. And um, I know TS Galaxy, they wouldn't just have signed him. But Konda Bonilla from the assessment that they've made with him, hopefully, is not so humble. I'm surprised with the Raja, as I'm going to say, I'm going to say, so, I'm going to say, but 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 I think it has to do with medical. We'll get to him. Uh, we'll play the clip as well, because he did no, speak we'll to see me you. Don't about say Raja medical. and Seti. Yeah. What we'll do you see. think, Nadim? I honestly think he mustn't say medical. They'll sue him. You know, he's so mum kids, and now he's waiting for 12 million. I honestly <laughs> think he's a, for me he's one of the is the greatest player I've seen in the last ten years playing for Kaiser Chiefs. Is the greatest player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the greatest. No, no, no. No, no, no. We don't even. Hold on, hold on. I want to hear this. In the last ten years, he's Kaiser Chiefs' greatest player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, he's the greatest signing. No, when's it? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Why is this mark? <laughs> Just switch it off. I in the know. last 10 years, let me hear this. For me, it's the greatest signing I've seen for Kaiser Chiefs in the last 10 years. Uh, playing for Kaiser Chiefs. What he did, he might have played 60 games and scored 17 goals, but his impact was more than that. Because most of the t- goals that he used to score, Chiefs used to win 1-0 and they were very key. Remember, he's the kind of a guy who nearly won Chiefs the league. It's actually a miracle. That's why uh, Mole Finzeg was saying Chiefs sometimes have been like That league, that COVID league, Chiefs lost it on goal or just a goal behind Sundowns. I mean, on point behind Sundowns. He was so influential. Remember, Chiefs nearly win the Cup Champions League. They lost in the Uh, final. I think they made a mistake by putting Stuart Becks ahead of Atazwane in the final because Atazwane did well in those semis when they beat Whitehead. The last day, now Stuart Becks is. So now we see uh, uh, Stuart Becks on the bench. I honestly believe if Atas one was the coach, maybe they would have beaten Pete Thompson. I mean, uh, uh, yeah. I, uh, wait, wait, I mean uh, Al Ali because they lost to Al Ali in the final. He has been brilliant. I don't know why he didn't have a team okay, for the okay, past two okay, years. He's talking about the last ten years, though. No, no, no. The last I, ten years. No, no. I've been oh, watching. Who's him? Nigga, must have. No, I've been. I've been. I've been. I've been. I've been. W- watching Kaiser Chiefs from around 98, 97, yeah. during the time of Frank Marco and all those things, Dr. Kumalo, Tabang Lebese, players like, like Neil Tovey. But you're saying in the last 10 years, is Chiefs have not made a no, better No, no, it's the greatest signing, of course, for me. Okay. By that, a is that, that, by is, that, that is why the 10 years are not going to be able to do it. Just accept. The 10 years are going to be able to do it. Let's go to Propila. No, but that's the, that's the only time where Chiefs mm. actually were challenging to win the league. Pizom t- t- Simane, that's why he celebrated that match because he said that was Kaiser t- Chiefs title. He yeah, didn't even believe they would win the greatest it. Let's pause it. Let's no, pause for it me, it is. Yeah. When you're not in... <laughs> let's, go, let's go to Propilane. Propilane is out in Durban. Pro, uh, the conversation is rife in studio. Nokovic, what are your thoughts? He signed for TS Galaxy. You know, um, I still miss that Nukovic that played for Kaiser Chiefs in the 2019-2017. I know that that miss against Vets when you when he was uh, three years away really affected him psychologically. But uh, that Nukovic, I, I, I really want. wish Chiefs Galaxy can revive him. We mm-hmm. uh, can help Chiefs Galaxy to, to to really challenge for the things because uh, he's a quality footballer. Make no mistake. Oh, and uh, I don't know what happened in Raja. But uh, given a chance, given the opportunity, I'm sure Coach Steed will revive him. Yeah, 13 goals. It doesn't matter. It doesn't ah, matter. Yeah, it, was, it doesn't matter, Pila. Yeah, 13 how goals. Many, 13 goals. 29 minutes. Nah, you, how many games Over did you 70. play? Over 70 games. Yeah. And you spent how many years? Uh, I spent seven years with Chiefs. Exactly. He spent three years. He so scored 60, well, 70 then, goals in 60 trophy, matches. Number trophy, number trophy, no, it doesn't matter. It matters. You, you spend most of the time. <laughs> you spend most of the time. Let, let, let's go. Let's go. Let's go to. Um, let's go to what Nokovic has said. I mean, surely, clearly, you can see this. This is a, a tough one, um, uh, one that's uh, got feelings rife in the studio. Samir Nokovic seems to have divided the room somewhat here with Mkonza on the other side, disagreeing with him being the best. I'm going to give you time while we listen to these Mkonza to give me a better signing than Samir Nokovic at Kaza Chiefs the last ten years. In the last ten years, have have time. I mean, you have all the time because I mean, I'm springing this up on you now. 
where Zunadim is well researched, as you can see. This I'm throwing on you. Let's play a clip of Samir Nokovic speaking to us here on Sports Start Amplified. And he says that, you know, he wasn't injured at the time, as it's been purported by Royal AM. He said he's not injured. In his own papers at FIFA, he says he's not injured. And we know our obligation. It is not acceptable for any... Right, this is not it. This is not it. If you can stop that, this is a, a, the lawyer at Royal AM speaking about him being injured there. Let's go to Samir Nokovic on the allegations of injury himself. Uh, like I said, beyond my control, uh, okay. that uh, from my uh, lawyer side uh, to comment on certain things. Obviously, they say that I can play, but I couldn't get anything uh, back from them. Like, uh, it's not me that finding the club, but yeah. them. I but you were fit. You were fit to play. No injuries. You were good to go. 100%. When was your last injury? Uh, my last injury was like far back in Chiefs. It was our Champions League uh, final. Okay. That was two years back. So there it is. The last time he was injured was at Chiefs. Uh, the Champions League final. He went on to speak about uh, why he failed to move to City, Cape Town City, where he spent, I think, 10 days, and Raja Casablanca, where he spent um, 15 days. Have a listen. The Cape Town came, and I was there uh, with them. I was training with them for a couple, um, two weeks, a little bit less two weeks and days, and uh, everything was good from my side. We just uh, couldn't uh, agree on that kind of, that side from my agency on personal terms. And so they wanted you. They made an offer, but you guys could not agree on the numbers. Yeah, exactly. What happened then at Raja Casablanca? Because I heard there was interest within Raja as well. Wow, well, similar things. The, the coaching staff, the technical staff, that really wanted me there. They know me from uh, South Africa. So there you have it. Two teams that he went to. Pro, what do you think? I mean, he goes to Cape Town City, he goes to Raja, doesn't get a signing. He's there training and uh, with the teams for 10, 15 days each. Um, but for monetary reasons, maybe I might believe you if you say Cape Town City. But Raja can't afford Nurkovic? Um, I think it's, 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 it's in Kwanzaa or it's like more said, uh, something about the medicals. Um, I, I, I think uh, it's going to be uh, has to do with the medicals, uh, but, uh, but, even though I'm not sure. But uh, I know that um, yeah, some of the teams, they will never find you unless you pass their medical. So it, it, it's a difficult one to comment for us on the site. But uh, nevertheless, Nukovic is still a good player and uh, I hope that uh, he gets his fitness up in safe. And uh, he goes to the field and do what he loves best. Konzo, we're going to move on from Nukovic, but I'm going to give you a closing on it. Yeah, I, 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 you see, we need to clarify this thing. I didn't say he's not a good player. I'm saying I was just arguing with Stetska and Salah Nadim so the last 10 years. And Minangiti, eight years just reflect everything. We don't have to go back with what we said. Chiefs has done well in the last eight years, even the signings. What are you saying? Like, I'm saying, I'm saying, Chiefs in the last eight years. We know that. So we're talking about Nukovic. Yes, what are you saying about, about, what are you saying part, about him? He's part of the club. So, so I say, I'm we know he was part of the club. So, so what, what did he do? You are saying he's a bad player. You no, know, he is. Okay, no, for fine. Chiefs are winning okay. next. So you don't like who's been a better signing None. than Chiefs in the last eight years? You see, these legends they <laughs> tend to undermine current players. That I don't Seriously, like. About. I'm undermine. We're gonna no, move on, Nukovic. You make up your own mind as to what uh, he was to Kaiser Chiefs. What did he give to Kaiser Chiefs? Is he the greatest signing in the last ten years, or is he part of the eight years of not having won anything? The other big story it came in. Vusumus Villagas, he leaves Golden Arrows after over two decades to go and join Cheaper United as technical director. The rumors were rife as to why he left, and we're not going to get into those uh, because you know the rumors that went around are, are, are possibly career ending, and we need to to make sure that we get to the bottom of it when we do speak to him, so that we're able to better uh, understand them. But let's speak about him leaving Arrows, what he's put in at Arrows and going to Chipa United as a technical director. We've spoken about this man many a times. We've highlighted what he's got as far as uh, uh, the training to be a coach, his, uh, his, his papers in WhatsApp. Yeah. You know, we know he's got a C license. He came on here and he told us about the fact that he's got a C license. We know what uh, the technical director of uh, uh, South African Football Association has had to say about a C license. Yet here he is joining Chipa as a technical director. Pro? Uh, I've known Kano uh, as a young boy when he joined the Golden Arrows, uh, wearing the number 19, tall, lanky, um, midfield, some striker. Then he graduated to become uh, the club, uh, club's PRO. From club's PRO, he became a club media officer. From media officer, he became uh, a, a, a Tiski, Tiski team uh, head coach. From head coach, a Tiski team to head coach. This is a guy that has gone through many ranks um, at Golden Arrows. And uh, it, it was shocking for me to see him live uh, in a manner or under the cloud. 
that we hear that he has left there, but uh, it doesn't change the quality of a human being that he is. I think this is one quote that always had time for people like us uh, who always wanted to educate us about the game. I wanted to educate us about the things that happens behind the scenes, and he was never shy to share information. And I know that uh, since he has moved to Chipa, Chipa are going to utilize him well in the technical director role, and I, I know that he's going to work well with Coach Mark Mok and Mamila. Uh, but uh, we wish him good luck, and um, uh, it's said that Kevin and has lost such a, such, such a quality individual and is going to improve football in another province. Konza? Yeah, it's said, Andy. I mean, uh, this is a man you, you played with him, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I played with him. Yeah. We stayed together. Um, we come from the same AKC team. I think for me, he has spent over 20, 20 years at Arroz. He won MTC Challenge with, with Arroz. has done well. Uh, I, I didn't expect it, especially as a Angel. But I'm happy that he's highlighting the fact that he needs to go and finish off our coaching badges working because, I mean, technical director, it's uh, it's not, it's, you can't compare in the coach, you, especially he spoke about doing a C license. I'm happy that he's prepared to go. Uh, but other than that, it's very sad for me to see who can hamba and he has done well. He's got an honorable player. Okay, um, from what I know, is the cheaper United as a technical director. Yeah. So that means he'll replace Mokan Mamila if he loses maybe the next few matches as a coach. I honestly think it's a bad move for him. Whatever the case was, I honestly feel Arrows were doing well. They are number two. They just beat Super Sport United 3 0. I honestly feel that Arrows, him and Maputikanyaza, they were on to something. And Chipa United, you know. it's, I mean, this is the guy, Chipa Peng, is who fired uh, Mangoba after one game. I mean, Mangoba is one of the respected coaches in the league. So I honestly feel maybe he's pushing his, his ending. It's, 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 I don't know. You said something else is a career ending. Joining Chippa United as a coach is always a career ending. So are you saying that he should stay technical director when they say, hey, uh, please go? No, he's always he's a coach. It. You know he's going to replace Mokan Mamila in the next before October. He's not even going to be that far. He, he's hired as a technical director. All, just like I said, he was a technical director at Kedah Chiefs. Now he's a coach. He's always going to be the same thing. If you ask him what is his role as a technical director, he's just waiting to, for Benges to call him, okay, take over the team and become a coach. I don't know, but I honestly feel it's a bad move because Aros did well. Even with the MTC 1-3, this MTC challenge, and this is one of these uh, rising young coaches. Whatever the case was with Mato Madala, I honestly feel he should have stayed. I, so I fear for him because Chipan Peng is, he's a, is a guy who doesn't respect coaches. But then is it, is it even is it even a... Because a, a technical director is one of the highest posts you get at the club. Yeah. You know, that's the overall look and feel of the yeah. club. That's Technical directors are very high, you know, sporting director yeah. in other clubs as well. No, in Europe, in South Africa, they don't ever look at Mokan Mamila. Immediately, Chipan Peng is called him. They hired Mokan Mamila as a technical director as well. Yeah. He left because he got a coaching position at Chipan United. So it means the coaching position is higher than a technical director in South Africa. Because if I can So ask you don't you, have to be that highly qualified. What do you do as a technical director? You wake up and do what? Instead, in, besides interfering or maybe being talking to the management or maybe undermining to the coach that like, I should yeah. have done better than mm. this one. But if you can give me a chance, I can show you what I can do. It's always the case. Most technical direct, the next guy is going to be a coach. That's how it works. There's no technical direct in South African football. And, and, because and, and if you look at the technical director, he's the one who's going to replace the coach. And then and, and Andy, I think gonna do me better in a sense that hey, I'm worried, man. Good cheaper, not because Uchiba is trigger happy, good danga, and I'm fucking man in Jalano Magnin, but I think the environment for for Ukan, I'm not too sure, but we as in a Wednesday, no, it's a bad environment for yeah, coaches. So, like, like, uh, sometimes the environment is career pillar, but if you into Zaka's gambit, but Ninga Boba Kirkish, he career pillar based on the on the on the, on the choice of going up. All right, uh, let's move on to the next one because uh, we, we are in a bit of a rush. Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, top of the show, we had to take the SABC Sport about the important information regarding the Rugby World Cup. The last one, Pizzo Musimane has had a lot to say about uh, signing a player, but it says, hey, the player has no price. Do we have the clip? Let's play it. Yeah, but Cyrilo doesn't have a price. So how you buy a player without a price? So where you start? Because I don't want to go into the same setup where I advised unluckily that we should get Cyrilo. And we approached and down straight to the office. And uh, he didn't have a price. He still doesn't have a price. So we don't we, we don't buy players that don't have the price. And there's no negotiation. If Cyrilo has a price, yes, you can talk, you know. Even Bappe has a price, remember? Neymar was bought from PSG. I, and I think, you know how much PSG has, eh? But he was bought. So is Sundown selling? Are they selling? I don't know. Serino at Sundowns, obviously disgruntled. We're yeah. not seeing him. The jersey number yeah. 10 is not coming out. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would have thought with all the South Americans there, he'd yeah. feel comfortable, want to be Better. there, but yeah. he's not there. We're seeing him on social media, bumping into him in South Africa. We know he's still here, but he's not mm-hmm. at Cloricop at the moment. Peter says, I wanted him, but they're not giving me a price. Yeah. That's question number one. Question number two, he's now eligible to play for South Africa. 
He's got his ID. Mm. He's got his green ID. Mm. Is this a player that Hugo Bruce should be looking at? Mukonza. The first question is, um, if we agna price, that means the club is not selling. So his sundowns are not prepared to, to procure a player. Uh, the second question, I don't, we've got enough. We've got more than enough. So there's no need. And the Miami's better than a Serena? Miami. It's a question. Yeah. So Miami if you had a choice between Serena and Miami, you'd uh, go Miami. Uh, uh, listen, in, in terms of who you look at in the light, you're glad that uh, suits our, our our players. Miami will start, will go ahead. Of, give me, give me. It's my opinion. Nadim? Honestly, uh, yeah, no, yeah. I, don't, I nearly say something I should have not said. Then. <laughs> <laughs> this is the national right, okay. right? I'm glad you know how to do Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What are you saying? Uh, no, no, no. I, th- I think Mkonza is out of order. Uh, there's a reason why Pete Omsimane, a coach that has won Champions League three times, wanted him at Al Ali. Mm-hmm. He didn't want Miami. There's a reason why he wanted him. He didn't want <laughs> Tim as one. But is that good, Sirino? It's That's a preference. And I honestly think, it's yes, he should play for Bafana. Bafana, there's nothing wrong. If it's eligible. There's nothing wrong. Yes, he can Don't play. It's not my... But are, are you mad? You ask, ask me a question. I'm are you, answering. Hold on, no, what is the problem? Yeah. Are, you, are you are you are you are you mad because he's not South African that you think he shouldn't play, or you just don't think he's? You've, we've got enough South Africans. Got enough midfielders in South Africa. So you don't mind that he's South American? No, I don't mind. If he wasn't I'm saying we've got enough midfielders okay. in South Africa. No, we don't have enough midfielders in South Africa. Ooh, That's not true. He need, it, it deserve to play. I mean, there's nothing wrong. Even countries that won World Cups like Spain, they Diego Costa was born in Brazil. He to play. Laporta was born in France. 2021, he played for uh, the France. French national Exactly. Team. There's nothing wrong. Which, if you want to improve the team, you select the best players available at your disposal. For me, he's one of the best in mm, South yeah, Africa. For, yeah. That's why Pizzo, even in his team, was saying that. Because Pizzo, the reason why he was saying no price. Remember, there was a problem with Pizzo and Sundowns. It's not like it, Sundowns have sold Bongan Zungu, Kick and Dole, so many players abroad. They didn't want to sell Pizzo because they didn't like the way Pizzo left. Remember, Pizzo signed a contract. Oh, so it's not that they don't want to sell him. Yes, they, they didn't want to Pizzo. sell it to yeah. Pizzo. Okay. When I said I don't have a price, not like there's no price. There's no mm. price for you because I don't like you for how whatever you did. There was a problem with Sundowns and Pizzo. Yeah. We know that where he took a signing on fee. Yeah. Within three months, he now he's announced as an Al, Al coach. Sundowns management were not happy with that. It's a well-known thing. It was reported in the media. So there was no price for Pizzo, not for Sereno. If another team can for come, any club coach by Pizzo. If another Pizzo. team, exactly. If another team Even. can come for Sereno, he will be sold. Just like Dolly was sold. Just like Pesita was sold. Sundowns always release players. Mm. Let's right. be honest. Let's go to Pro Pilani. Pro, uh, yeah. We're going to be taking your calls uh, very soon, guys. I can see you're calling. We're going to be taking your calls just now. Let's go to Pro Pilani. Pro, uh, the fickle case of Serena. Um, There are only two players who are not born in South Africa who have gone all the way to represent Bafana Bafana. It was Roger Pisa and Bongani Kumalo. Uh, Serena will be a special player. We need to be a special player to, to, to make the cut. Uh, do I think he deserves to play for Bafana Bafana? Yes. Uh, he's in a good mental state. I don't think he is. But uh, if he can find the um, sport in Sundowns, if he can play football regularly, maybe we can advocate for him. But at the present moment, until we sort his playing uh, situation, then uh, I don't think that he deserves um, a sport in the national team at the moment. But quality player, make no mistake. Pro pi- pro. Yeah? Yeah, pro is on, on fire. that is leaving him, Konza staying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was one of the It's only one of the six yeah. guys, uh, and uh, I mean there wasn't much football this past week, so yeah. uh, we're not going to get into that. Let's get straight into our calls and our voice notes. Um, uh, taking your calls and your voice notes on everything we've spoken about. Nokovic, what do you make of what Nadim has had to say? I see on Twitter already the conversation has started, um, and uh, the education on technical directors. Maybe that's an important one, uh, and maybe we should uh, take a look at that one there uh, because. What is the the, the, the the role of technical directors and yeah. teams? Uh, that's something that Udvi underscore super underscore dude is talking about there. Hey, let me throw one at you very quickly. Uh, Sundowns have just won the CAF uh, Kosafa region um, qualifiers, right, for the Champions League. They were happening. They've just won that. Mm-hmm. The goalkeeper of the tournament there, do you know who it was? Mm-hmm. Goalkeeper of the tournament winning the Golden Gloves was Andy Lezamin. And I got long, I will copy. So, what, I, what, I, what is the question? I'm just, there's no question. I'm just yeah. saying, what are your thoughts? Mm. No, Desri, Desri needs to be told that is the national team. This is not a team for Desri. He, they, they need to select the best. Go- Andy Ledamin is the best goalkeeper in this country. I know her like from a long time. She needs to be the oh, Banyana Ibra, Banyana goalkeeper. I, I know her and I know people who are very, very close to her. She's a top, top goalkeeper. So she yes, needs she to is. be the, I mean, in a she big needs to be the number mm. one goalkeeper. I, I remember like there was a time where I used to go in. 
Oke. Okay. Ya, 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 That's how good she is. Andy does. I mean, she walked away with the golden gloves at the CAF mm. online. Um, uh, the CAF, rather, Women's Champions League Cost Suffer Qualifiers 2023. <coughs> Sundowns ladies, of course, are uh, uh, winning that championship. So Selector. Really? To, to make, to, to I mean, start. She, she's been called up to the national team now. But let's take your calls. Uh, let's hear what you've got to say. But firstly, let's perhaps begin with your voice notes after this. It's uh, 1851 of the Mighty Metro. Fair. Ungovernable in the studio today. I mean, uh, I let them be because Gipati was celebrating uh, Pilan is, uh, um, uh, you know, going away. So we let them be ungovernable. But let's hear what you've had to say. Good evening, Andy Le, hey. and the team. So I know Vele Isho and I'm saying just so sad like you would see we are humble up pro and Ish. like in Yakumbula like when he joined. What are in Joe Jenny Lemo Vani like cause of I I never miss a show. <laughs> yeah. I just wanna see So I just wanna wish you like all the best, like and yeah, it was so nice having him you know, on the show like every Friday, podcast Friday. And yeah. Mm. Come here, thank you. Come here, I appreciate hey, you. Um, yeah, we are all supporting Mapoko Poko. Yes, sir. We hope everything goes well. Mm. And we like to Sunday. say big up to SABC for uh, clinching the deal so that we can see the games. And it's very important for all of us as South Africans and for you guys as anchors to remind South Africans the importance of paying TV license. Every time you guys, it should be mandatory when you start your shows, remind people, pay TV license. South Africa, we like free things, we like to demand everything, but we don't have one to pay 240, 250. Mm. It's nothing, pay a year, let's pay TV license, guys. I completely understand that it's something to other people, but it's something worthwhile. It's something worthwhile. Play last one there. Exandilandile, Jimmy Mara, the busy one of Mote, Propilani, and Din Lucale, the Paralabo Paras, Pium Conza, Bona, Andile, Esham, Falabella Butu. Uringi, Propilano Azamaya, last show, Mazulu. Replacing that guy, Jimmy Mago, the busy one of Mosebe. My guy will miss you so much. You must invite Jimmy. Jimmy must come replace him. Yeah, I must invite Jimmy. Let's take your calls now. Um, Let's start perhaps with Uzola. Uh, Zola's out in Cape Town, wants to speak uh, oh, about the World Cup rights. Okay, Zola, very quickly. Hi, hi, my uh, Hey, sir. Ah, I didn't think that the uh, SABC one was going to get the right actually. Like last year, they tried to do it, but uh, they didn't get it. So I thought it's quite, it was going to be the same this year. I mean, the intervention of your Honorable uh, Minister Zizi Gorto was a huge oh, role in yeah. this, as well as uh, yeah, yeah. SAB and Hollywood Bates that came onto board to provide the financial oh, yeah. assistance. So we want to say thank you to them as well. Very much. Uh, about the Nokovic, Nokovic uh, mm. um, Konza. Nokovic is the best. Best striker we had at Keza Chips. But gay Keza Chips gay Lala E. Please Lala. tell him, man. So, I, I agree with my team. I'm a Chips fan. I'm a Chips fan. I'm, a Chiefs fan. I'm watching each and every game, even if. Oh, they are you know, yeah, I'm talking about the Chips. I'm a Chips fan. I'm not a Chips fan. I'm 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 a Chips fan. i Oh, the best day of the I the best I the I I I I I I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, greetings to all the guys. Jayami. Konza. Uh, Jayami. So, uh, yeah, uh, so this is directed to you, uh, Andile mm. and Jimmy. Uh, I just want to say, guys, thank you so much for supporting uh, Upro and giving him a chance. It says a lot about your leadership, Andile. And then to Upro, Pro, uh, Stay humble, my guy. God mm. will keep on blessing you. So, yes, yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Nice. Ah, oh, Tabang. 
as always. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm pretty sure Pro's listening as well and he can hear that. Thank you so much. But like I've said, Mkonza, you yeah. know, there's so many people. Mina, Mina Nawe, mm. Nadim, you're the same. Mm. Yes, um, Pro will tell you, he's the same. Stua every day on social media. Mm. People use that platform to, to vent out for inking as I'm clubbing. Mm. Instead of mm. using that platform to, to step up and, mm. and communicate and, mm. and, and build a future for yourself. Because mm. your tweets tell us who you are. Yeah, true. So if I'm looking at your tweets, Pro Pilana, we just looked at his tweets mm. and we said, hey, bring this guy on air. Yeah. And he got on air and he excelled even better. Yeah. So wherever you're sitting, mm. before you send that tweet because you want it to be funny, because you think it's going to trend, mm. think about being positive. Mm. Let's go to uh, Spongeleni. Spongeleni, you said my tough in. Spongeleni. Young <laughs> right man. Yes, but then yes, Doctor Antoine Nokovic is the best striker, best signing at Kaza Chiefs in the last ten years. Uh, I don't think so, Ma. Thank you, John. Mm. I don't think so. And uh, I just want to be quick. Go for it. With my point, I want to wish I must bring forth a very best of luck, uh, Ma. But uh, I'm very worried because my favorite player is not there who look on your arm. Mm. But I strongly believe that uh, the squad that was selected by the coach will do the job. And then lastly, I want to congratulate who Pro Pilan. Ukon. Ukon. Pro. Ute. Unjan Putomjan. Ah, Ukon Kai Matafe. <laughs> Welcome to the family. I'm looking forward to work with you as you will be closer to us as the Amazon supporters. I wish you everything of the best. Put them there. Studio. You must also remember what some cons are legend here, so he scored the most beautiful oh, own goal from Africa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'll never forget that. Well, Bobby Cross is out in so I'm not right, but I'm not right. 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 I'm not do you remember do you remember as offside as called as rule offside yeah the money the 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 the, the referee was uh, chanda money yes yeah. i remember yeah do you remember what was the, the time i was going to have the ball with his hand against santos yes yeah. in Cape Town, yes do, do you remember that clap when daniel muta was furious and and asha asha yeah so no, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I understand who did not everything that you have won, they work hard for it's it. It's part of so the game, good man. It's part of the game. Game in the Nukbamba, he has to put me there. But we're going to see goodbye, because I've got to go. <laughs> Unfortunately, like I said, today we don't have the, the time as usual because we had to take um, the SABC up at the top uh, to speak about the, uh, the Rugby World Cup. Pro, for the very last time, man, from myself, and I know it's from Nadim, and I know it's from um, 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 Konza. Konza. What? I don't know what you're saying to me. I don't know what he's saying. What is he saying? I don't know what he's saying. But, Pro, thank you so much, man. We really appreciate you. We're going to play out with a promo um, that was made just for you. Have a listen to this. And on the other side of that, the guys are already ready. So I don't want to chow too much of their time. So let's go into the promo. On the other end of the promo will be the boys. They're here already. Uh, I can see uh, Lulu Cafe as well as Naked. Have a listen to this, Pro. Don't hang up the line. From the bottom of my heart and the boys, you always be family here. Mm. And you always be welcome here. Uh, the conversation is going to be a lot different now when you come on. But nonetheless, you'll always be family. Uh, we, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're going to be discussing him on Friday. <laughs> Have a listen to this promo. Pro Pilani, we out. Podcast Friday on Sports Night Amplified. <clears throat> well, Pro Pilani, Pro. If Roman Fords can be successful at Amazon, it will open doors for a lot of young coaches. The funniest thing is that um, the coach was born in 1990 and the team is celebrating 90 years. Um, I don't know whether it's a match made in heaven or what, but um, <laughs> you know, it's a difficult task and uh, I really want him to succeed. But where has Roman Falls been successful? Um, but Andile, at Casa Chiefs, there was once a coach who has never coached more than 23 games. Yeah. And he was, he was giving a job Tindelo Moyo, who also is one of the Opta Jabu members, and he's chuckling at your statistic there of the coach that had never played 23 games. Opta, do you want to tell us something? Um, no comment is what I can say. <laughs> Podcast Friday on Sports Night Amplified with a delay on Metro FM.